Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we're going to talk about the efficiency of picking and packing. So Acumatica has introduced a new dashboard or inquiry screen that'll show you the starting and ending date, the total time, the actual time, the number of packages, number of lines, shipments, the actual person, the picker or the packer doing the operations, and even efficiency operations per minute. So to get started and to make this more meaningful, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through the actual operations. We're gonna go through a pick and pack and then a ship and then come back to this and watch as this data gets populated. So we'll go over and create our shipments from our orders. You can see these are all the sales orders that are open or back ordered. And essentially this screen will allow us to test all these orders, check stock, and take it to the next step. Again, that next step is from a sales order to a shipment to an invoice. So we're looking to get it into a shipment. That's where we can start our picking, packing, and then shipping. So we'll go over here, we'll create our shipments. We'll click process here. Now again, Acumatica goes through this test. It tests the inventory, but it also checks the order to see if we're allowing back orders on our orders. That's a customer preference, right? The customer may want a back order. They may be okay with you shipping out partial, or they may require you to ship everything in full. So those are preferences on the orders. Check our videos on how that works. But that's what happened here. This order, for example, didn't ship in full. So now that we've turned those into shipments, of course, we're left with the balance of the orders we decided not to process. For the purpose of the demo, I wanted to leave some open for some other videos and demos. But we now have shipment documents. So our shipment documents show up here. Now, any given shipment document, we open it up, we can go in and print the pick ticket right from there. And that's one way to do it. When you have minimal volume per day, you can go in, analyze every shipment, print the pick ticket, and if you're not scanning, use those documents to complete the process. But in this case, if we go back to our sales order workspace, we have our pick, pack, and ship operations. Now, if we go to process, create pick lists, we can create our pick lists and organize those pick lists to assign to pickers and packers and shippers. So if we go to that screen, I have it open already, but open, but I have nothing here because I just created the shipments. So if I refresh and change my warehouse to wholesale, you can see I have two potential shipment documents that are eligible to turn into pick lists. Again, the pick list is the summary of your shipments. So regardless of customer, we're giving the list of work for the picker to do. So here you have your options. Create single shipment pick lists or wave or batch. Wave being I want to pick everything on the fly and, and organize it while I'm picking it. Whereas batch is I take everything. I don't really organize it per shipment per customer. Instead, I bring it back to a sorting facility where I can then piece it together per shipment when I pack. But in this case, I'm gonna create single shipment pick lists and I'll process all. You have a lot of options here, of course. You can filter out which orders you want to conclude, max number of lines, max quantity, certain items, certain locations. We could send it to the picking queue. Again, we have videos on this. We invite you to take a look at those videos for more details on this. Now, I could have also printed my pick lists out by checking this box. We could send it to the device manager. It can automatically queue it up to a certain printer. I didn't end up doing that. But what we can do instead is go over to manage pick and queue. We didn't quite send it to the queue to be picked up, but we have options here. We could send it to the pick and queue from here, or we could assign it to certain people could change our priority and all that. But I have our shipments, our single shipment pick list right here. So we'll go ahead and send all of these to the pick and queue. And we'll actually open up the pick and queue and take a look at it. This automatically refreshes so that a manager can watch their warehouse and see what's there and ready to pick. 
You just have to click start watching and the system will automatically refresh. Now, if we open up our Acumatica mobile app, we'll go to pick, pack, and ship. And here we can scan. In this case, we're going to enter our pick list number. We're going to tell the system what tote we're using. So depending upon what totes we have set up, let's open that up. We're in the wholesale warehouse. And we'll just use tote 01 right now. You can see Acumatica already has that tote applied to another shipment. So I'm going to use another tote. The system's telling me to go to a certain bin location. In this case, it's row one, shelf one. But I'm going to confirm by scanning that location. I'll scan my first item. And the system is also telling us what serial number to use because this particular serial number we have defined in the system to use maybe first in, first out, or in the event of a lot, maybe based on expiration date. So I'll put that one in. Again, I'd be scanning this. And now this shipment is picked. So what I can do now, if I go over to my picking queue, I can see that we started picking. I'll move these columns around a little bit. We didn't assign a picker. We have an actual picker. But you can see I started this whole process actually quite a bit ago. So that'll help us with regards to the efficiency. That'll track our total time. But let me go back. And now what I'll do is I'll say finish and next. And notice Acumatica, first off, it took this off the picking queue, the previous one. And it's telling me, here's my next pick list to start picking. We'll give it the tote number. And notice tote 04, of course, I can't use that again because I'm doing single shipment picking. So my items need to be organized as I'm walking through the warehouse. So what we'll do is we'll pick another one. We'll go back to warehouses just to check. And now we'll pick our item. We'll set our quantity. And we'll continue on. We go back to our picking queue. We can see that that pick list is now off the queue. We're going to need some more totes. In our demo site, we only have these totes here. So Also, what's new in Acumatica 2023 R2 is the ability to scan an item and then just keep scanning serial numbers. So you don't have to do it. You don't have to scan the item, the serial number, the item, the serial number. So that's a nice welcomed improvement. Especially in this scenario where there's 1,200 left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. Now let's take a look at our efficiency queue. And if we go back, you could look at the queue. We're stopping in the middle, so this one's going to stay being picked. For the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to scan or enter in another 100, 1,200 serial numbers. But again, you could see the status. It's been started to pick, and all the other items are still in the queue. So, but if we go to the efficiency, the picking and packaging, and we select our warehouse, and we select a date, what you can see here is a summary. The total time, meaning the time we've started for this date range, the time we've started till the ending time. But then you have the actual time. This is the time, less a timeout value, because Acumatica doesn't know if we stop and you know, maybe we fall asleep or something in the process. But 
Acumatica doesn't know quite that. So there's a timeout. But between all of our operations, there's 13 minutes here. Now notice the options. So we could expand by user. We only have the admin user in our demo site. We could expand by shipment. So now it's showing our performance per shipment. So wow, this one took 52 seconds and there was two lines on the order. Number of unique items was two also. And then this particular shipment was five. It took 48 seconds, it went even quicker. So you'll be able to analyze that. And then if you uncheck that and you expand by day, now you can see the different days. So here we had a couple of sessions on 919, a couple of sessions on 929. Again, you could see the total time, but then the actual time. So from start to finish, the total time and the actual time match for these individual records because we're expanding by day. But if I uncheck this, then Acumatica is giving us the total time so we can kind of compare against it. If I were to expand by maybe shipment, again, now I have a total time by shipment. These numbers happen to match, but if you get interrupted in the process, then you'll see a much greater total time. We go back to our picking queue. You could see this is being picked. Later, when I do finish this, if I come back to it after lunch or something, we'll see an entry here of a total time plus lunch that'll add up versus the actual time when I get back from lunch. Maybe I spend another three or four minutes on it. There's a lot of serial numbers. It might be longer than that. But you have your operations efficiency per minute. And all of this is so that you can now analyze and see who are your best pickers, who are your best packers. We're just showing the picking process here. But if we jump back and we change modes to pack, now we could scan the tote number or the shipment number. Either way, when we go back to our packing area, we'll have the tote number. There'll be a label on the tote number anyway. We'll know it. Then we could scan the box and then start putting the items in the box. Now, this is shipment number 5040. So let me just take a look at our shipments. Again, I'd be pulling this out of my tote. So I would scan the item itself, but I don't have the luxury of that because I'm not physically scanning items but it's this item right here we'll go back to so i'll type it in and now the serial number now we could move on to the next shipment but in this case, we're going to go over here and we could confirm the package or confirm the shipment altogether. And now if we confirm the shipment and we come back here and we expand by shipment, you can see your pick and your pack operation and you can get an idea how long does that take as well. In this case, it took two minutes and 15 seconds. So that's our efficiency in picking and packing, as well as the full process of going through, taking a shipment through the pick, pack, and ship process using the pick list. We created a single shipment pick list, as you saw, and we got a lot of great data over it. So thanks so much for watching this. If you have any questions about this, the shipping process, the picking process, uh, of course, the packing process, or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this useful, please click the like button and have a great day.